Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. In prior videos I showed you some of the pistols that I received for Christmas. Not that I received, that I got for Christmas. And today we're going to start that series showcasing the pistols. In front of us today, every time I get this, a black box like this with those famous red letters, it just makes you feel good all over, doesn't it? And inside of the case, we have the HK P30L Tactical. Now what makes this special, you can get a P30L, it's listed on the US website from HK, and, but what makes this one special is that it was never imported by the, to the US by HK USA. Some independent importers have brought some of them into the US, but they're not very common. And another thing that makes them different, we'll go through the, some of those differences, is that it doesn't have any import marks anywhere on the barrel or on the slide you're not going to find any of the regular HK USA or the import marks. Now there's a very slight import mark by the importer and I want to say a special thanks once again to the guys over at the Sportsman's Loft and you've heard of their names many times before because it is through them that I've been able to get my hands on the red backs and this HK also came through them. Otherwise I would have never been able to get my hands on these guns. So thank you very much to the Sportsman's Loft. So the HK P30L comes in this HK case, nothing major. Down here you're going to find the owner's manual. And this one came with two mags. Some of them here in the US come with three mags, so that's a bit of a bummer. Also, they are 15 round capacity mags. Now most of the HK P30Ls that you get here in the US, uh, depending whether you live in a free state or not, you're going to get them with 17 rounds and you're going to get uh, three, three mags, three metal HK mags, very high quality mags, but this one came with two 15 rounders. So a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. It also comes with interchangeable back straps, side panels, a little humidity bag, and then you get a very nice instruction manual. And this is where I speak to my knowledgeable a uh, YouTube review or manual reviewer because I'm sure this is going to be demonetized instantly and I'm going to have to ask for a manual review. The pistol that you see here is 100% factory stock. It has not been modified in any way as you can see here by the manual. Also I am going to disassemble the pistol and then put it back together because there's some important things that the viewers need to know for the maintenance and safety of the weapon. So for maintenance and safety, when you open the manual, and this is very nice, and here you can tell that it was not made for import to the U.S. because it's all in German. It doesn't, have any, it doesn't even have an English translation. But it shows you how to disassemble the, the, the pistol, how do you take it apart, and how you put it back together. I hope the focus is working on this one. How you put it back together, as you can see here. So this is for maintenance and safety and it is not modifying a firearm. So now that we got that out of the way, let me put the box on the side, and let's start to take a look at the P30L Tactical. So I'll let you walk it around. And like any P30, it is a nine millimeter hammer fired, and we already spoke about the capacity. It has a barrel a threaded barrel that is 5.06 inches long. Now a bit of a bummer is that HK does not ship them with a thread protector so you have to be very careful not only putting it in your safe or when you're handling it but when you take it apart for cleaning and maintenance when you pull the barrel through you need to make sure that you're very careful as it's going through the slide and that you don't ruin your threads. Okay. So everything that is metal that you see here is coated in HK's hostile environment coating. So it's going to be very durable. And as you know, HK reliability, right? It's going to be very durable, corrosion resistant, and it goes all the way through to the metal. So even though the, the finish may start to wear over time, although it is very durable, it is impregnated into the barrel, into the metal. So I'm letting you take a look at it. 
Now, I mentioned reliability and how, how these things actually are made literally like tanks or materials that are used by tanks. And between 2009 and 2010, HK put one of these through a long uh, endurance test. And a P30 went through 91, a little bit over 91,000 rounds without any major component failure. So they literally are built like tanks. Now starting at the top, we're going to have the slide. And the slide is, of course, made out of, of steel, cannon grade steel that, like I said, is coated with a hostile environment coating. And at the top, you're going to find dovetailed sights. They're not night sights, and this is coming from Germany. And in Germany, tritium, any radioactive, radioactive material is illegal. So these are fluorescent sights. And what they do is you hit them with light, and they just shine very nicely. And let me do something a little bit different. Let me hit him with light right now. And let's see if this works, because nothing really works when you improvise. And let me turn lights off. And let you see how that looks like. So like they say, nothing works on live TV, right? So here you go. Gives you a bit of an idea of how they glow. So I like them. They work. Some people that some people say that they work for about an hour or so after you hit them, but my experience, I've actually hit. I've had other HKs that have the fluorescent sights. I've hit them with lights and put them in the nightstand and the safe night on the nightstand. And um, next morning they're still dim. They're dim, but you can still see them. So figure that out. Another thing that has changed with this particular pistol is that you're not going to see any. Not only the import marks, as I said, on either side of the barrel, and I like that. It makes it unique, but also on and the proof marks that you would normally see on the side of the barrel coming to the U.S., you don't see them. Now you're going to see them under the trigger guard. That's where you're going to see them, right here. And now that we're, since we're looking at that, of course, the importer has to have their name on it. And I'm not sure if the video is going to catch that. But above the serial number, they put it very, very small there. But it's enough to meet the requirements of the ATF. And there you see it a little bit better. It's not going to focus, but it's right there. So I like it. That's one of the things that makes this pistol not only worth the money to me, but also unique. It was never imported to the U.S. by HKUS. So something very unique. So we were at the, at the top, we we're talking about the sights. Going back to the rear sight, not only you have also the fluorescent, but they're fully adjustable for windage and elevation. So you got total control of your sights. You got an external extractor that as you see here, it acts as a loaded chamber indicator as well. But not only with a red mark, with a red paint right there, but also if you run your finger across it, it's very tactile. It is not optics ready. But it, I knew that from the very beginning. So the pistol has been safety checked. Focus, please. There we go. And for YouTube, that's not a, a live round. Okay. That is a dummy round. It's called a snap cap. So we're going to load that. I had two of them in there. So now you see how you can tell the red paint. And also you can feel it. All right. Well, since we're there, another feature of this pistol that I like very much is it is since it's a hammer fired pistol and it's a spurred hammer with uh, serrations on it for traction. But also back here you have, let's see where I'm going to get the best light, probably there, the decocking button. So this is a version three. This is a V3. So it's a double action, single action with spur hammer. And I believe HK has somewhere around 10 versions, 10 different versions you can buy. And that really depends on if whether it's single action only, double action only, which side you got single, one-sided safeties, double-sided safety. So all the versions there, there are about 10 versions. This one is the version three. 
So it does not have a manual safety. It's got all the other built-in safeties, but it does not have an external manual safety. So what you do is, if you want to carry this gun, you don't carry it like that, you know, with a hammer back, because there's no safety, manual safety to help you, but you just press the button and you decock the, the weapon, and now you're in double action. Or if you rack the slide, the hammer comes back, and now you're in single action only. But I love this decocking button. It's just, it works perfect. Going down to the frame, the frame is normal HK, is a, is a fiberglass reinforced polymer. And you do get, like I showed you in the, back, in the box, you get the back straps that are replaceable. And you also have the side panels that are replaceable. So you have a lot of combinations to make this, hand, this pistol fit perfectly to your hand. And it is very ergonomic. It is a very comfortable pistol. I think it was just an opinion that called it the Batman grip. I don't know if he coined it, but that's where I heard it. And it, is, it does look like that. But it is very, very comfortable. Moving a little bit further, you got the trigger guard, and it is an ample trigger guard. It gives you plenty of room for a, glo for a gloved hand, and it does have some sort of a bit of serrations in the front, not in the bottom, as I showed you earlier, but in the front it does. And moving further forward, you have um, the, the pick rail, and this is not a, the proprietary rail like it had in the US piece, but it actually has a regular 1913 rail, and it's got five slots on it so you got plenty of room to pretty much mount anything you want to hang on the front of your of your gun it is fully ambidextrous because the, your paddle your magazine release is the paddle system here you can see it right there it is the sh it is short paddle some of the usb some of the hk models are going to have longer paddles and some are going to have shorter ones. This is the shorter one, but you can work it just as well from your right hand or from your left, from your thumb or your, your index finger. Um, I like it very much. I actually, this is the type of system that I prefer. Not this particular shorter one, and I'll explain to you why in a second. But to me, it works very well. The ejection system is very positive. Let's see if I can get that to focus. The ejection system is very positive and it works well. Slide stop, slide release is the long, you know, I think it was Collier Noir that said is like it's the size of a surfboard, and pretty much it is, and you have it on both sides, so a completely ambi, ambi pistol. So that works well. Put the mag back in. I'm trying to give you all the angles, and no, I'm not flagging myself here. You see the threaded barrel. And for the money that you pay for this thing, it just floors me that HK does not include a threat protector. You can buy one, you can order them from HK Parts, and I believe they're about $30, but I don't feel that's something I should have to do for the money. But it is what it is. Letting you look at the back here, you feel like you need to put a, a lanyard or anything here to attach the pistol to your body, well, you can. I don't know why the lights are giving me a hard time today. So let's talk a little bit about the barrel. And the barrel is, like I said, is the tactical barrel. And it, it comes with a gun. But if you have a P30L and you wish to put the tactical barrel in it, you can. You can order it from HK Parts. And it's about $299.95, $300 for that, for the barrel. And But with this one, it comes standard. It is a cold hammer, for, cold hammer forged barrel. And a, like I said before, it's made out of cannon grade steel. It's 5.06 inches long, and it is polygonal with a 1 to 10 right hand twist. Now, the thread that I was talking about earlier, let me focus catch up a little bit. The thread is a, let me look at my notes, make sure I don't tell you a lie. It is a 13 and a half by one left handed thread. So it's got a left-handed thread. Let me eject the dummy round that is in there. 
and let's see if the light cooperates with me you're going to see that it's got a very highly polished ramp and you'll look at it closer closer when I take it apart it does, the barrel does not have the o-ring that some of the edge case come come with for accuracy um, if you choose to buy the barrel from HK parts and drop it in your P30L, it comes, it is, it is made in Germany by HK. So now let's talk and look at the trigger for a second. Like I mentioned earlier, it's a double action, single action system. The, sing the double action is heavy, comes in at 11 and a half pounds. The single action is a little bit on the lighter side, and I think it is very doable, coming in at 5.4 pounds. So in double action, and this is what it looks like. The double action is heavy, 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 but very smooth, and then it hits the wall, and then you push through the wall, a little bit more travel, and it releases. Let me take a look at that again. You're here, pull, 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 very, very smooth. You seem to hit a wall, but then you got to push a little bit more through that wall, and it goes. Now keep in mind, this is a combat trigger. It's a defense, it's not a bullseye trigger. So it's, this is the way it's meant to be. So the round, the round will cycle. It's easier if I don't have the mag in. And then the reset, it's a little bit on the longer side, there, nope, keep going, keep going, there. And then the back, you have a little bit more travel, and then it breaks. So it's a heavier double action than I like. The single action, it's okay. The reset is a little bit longer than I want, but overall, it's not a bad trigger, trigger at all. So now let's take it apart. And once again, YouTube, this is not modifying a firearm. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop the mag. Gosh, I don't know why the focus is giving me a hard time. We're going to double check again. That the gun is unloaded, and it is. So now we're going to bring the notch over here. It's hard to do. It's going to be hard to do it on camera. Right there. And then push on the other side, that, that button. You push just enough to pop this out. And you see the red mark there? It tells you that this is popped out and ready for disassembly. You do not pull it all the way through. You just release it, and then the slide comes right off. Taking a look at it right here, you, you're gonna see right away the quality, if the focus helps. There we go. The quality of the machining, and there's no tool marks whatsoever. And here it is, HK's famous recoil reduction system with this buffer that travels back and forth to, to help absorb the recoil. It is a stainless guide rod with a captured spring. And again, I'm not going to take it all apart because I don't want to run the risk of stripping this right now. And also, maybe it'll reduce the, the chances of YouTube having a heart attack. But it is very well done, very well machined. And looking at the frame itself, the rails are okay. Nothing too beefy. Nothing the size of a of the type of the rails that either Beretta or FN puts on their firearms. But it's very clean, simple. Very well done. Come on. There you go. So that's where it is. That's the way it looks under the hood. So to put it back together, let's see if I can do this around the camera and with all the coffee. There you go. And just line it up. Pull it through, line those up again, push it in, test for function, and there we go. So that's an overall look at the HK P30L Tactical. I said at the beginning, never imported to the US by HK. 
but brought to us by our friends over at the Sportsman's Loft. And what do I think about this? My final thoughts on it is that it is a tank of a gun. Absolutely a tank of a gun. What, I, what don't I like about it? There's only two things so far that I don't like about this pistol. Number one, that HK didn't include a threat protector for it. It, it just really rubs me. The other thing that I don't like is going to be in the trigger guard area. And that's going to be, there's an edge right where the paddle release of the mag release meets with a trigger guard. And it is not always flush. And come on, here we go. Just to double check that it's safe, and it is. Do you do you see how it's not always flush? You see the angle up. So sometimes when you go to pull the trigger, the way the trigger shoe is shaped, my finger slides down. And when my finger slides down, the tip of my, the side of my finger rubs against that edge, if you can see that. And I can already see the comments are all oh, man up or, you know, grow, grow a pair. It, it hurts. You can see that. So if it was more, the angle of it was further down like that. See if I can, if I push it, you see, if it was more down like this, so it wouldn't interfere. And you can see that hump right here. Both of those things rub against the side of your finger as you're going by. It rubs there. It rubs there and then it catches right there. And this is, I haven't shot this one yet, but I have another P30 and I also have another P30L. And they do the same thing. So I w this is something that I wish HK would correct because other than that, this would be a, f for me, it would be an absolutely fantastic firearm. But those are the only two gripes that I have with it. So yeah, overall, it's not, they're not that big of a deal. Although that rubbing of my finger does keep me from taking the other ones to the range more often. That's all I have for you today. P30L tactical. What do you think of this pistol? Let me get, oh, before I forget, I know people are going to ask me about the cost of it. It is a pricey gun. HKs are pricey to begin with. And this one comes in at $1,700. Why the premium? Because it was never imported to the U.S. by HK. That's part of it. The other part of it is coming from the fact that if you want to buy the regular P30L, from HK, just the regular P30L, you know, different websites are going to have different prices, but we're talking from the factory. You're going to spend $1,040. What's, that's what they're listed at, $1,040. Then you want to drop in the, the, the barrel, the threaded barrel for the P30L, you're going to spend another $300. So that's taking you to $1,340. So the premium that you're paying, the extra few hundred premium that you're paying, is for the fact that you own a unique gun, one that very few were brought into the US, and you're gonna own something that is not run of the mill. So you, only you can decide whether that premium is worth something to you or not. I think it is. So that's what I got for you. Thank you very much for stopping by. I love to hear your comments below. What do you think about the P30L Tactical? And please remember, as always, I upload videos every Friday morning, when I can, on Wednesday mornings as well. And I'm very active on Instagram if you'd like to give me a follow over there and you can see what's coming down the pipeline way before it hits YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to your comments. And until the next time, God bless.